Welcome to Essential 123 QuickBooks Tutorials. My name is Jamie Hudson. I'm a certified QuickBooks Advanced Pro Advisor and owner of Essential123.com. We hope you enjoy today's tutorial and visit us at Essential123.com often as we do update our tutorials regularly. Thank you. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about an area of QuickBooks that I think is a little bit underutilized and that is your homepage. That's the screen that you're looking at right now. The home page icon is here in the upper left hand side. It's the little house icon. And the QuickBooks homepage provides a big picture of all of your accounting tasks. And the tasks themselves are organized into logical groups like your customers, your vendors, your employees. We also have a banking area here and a company area. And the, with workflow arrows, as you can see, all of these little arrows tell you the logical order of the tasks that should be performed in QuickBooks. Now this look is based on your preferences that you set when you set up your company file. It asks you a million questions about what you do as a business and how you do things in your business. And it puts little icons here on the home page. But if for some reason you need to add different types of tasks or you need to take away tasks that you don't use, you can always change that in your preferences. You can go to edit in the gray menu bar and preferences all the way down at the bottom. You're going to want to click on desktop view in the left hand side and you want to click on company preferences. Here you can see that we create invoices, sales receipts, statement charges, and we have things like inventory, payroll, sales tax, and those sort of things on. You can always click on one of those to change that preference to either turn it off or turn it on. And you can go ahead and say OK to change those preferences. Now there are certain things here on your home page that uh, you will only get if you uh, purchase additional services. One area is this payroll area here. Payroll is an optional service that you can get from QuickBooks and if you do not subscribe to the payroll services you won't have these icons here. Instead you'll have icons that say things like learn about payroll processing in QuickBooks. Uh, the other optional services that you can purchase are things like merchant card processing which will add a couple icons here between your customers and your banking. They do have credit card and merchant processing that is available that you can purchase. One of the great things about the home page here, especially if you're new to QuickBooks, is the QuickBooks Coach which is located here in the right hand side. We've got the coach here. So I'm going to click Maximize Coach. You can see it will pop out here. If you go ahead and click that X, you can hide the coach and it pops back into the side here. There's also a video tutorial that you can click on and watch about the right from QuickBooks that tells you a little bit more about the homepage. And what I really like is these coach tips. If you click on that, your homepage becomes a little different color here. And there's these little informational icons, these little eyes. And if you click on the eye, for instance here, it'll tell you the logical workflow that happens when you create invoices. In this case you can start here with estimates and it tells you by floating your mouse over it what you can do with estimates. For instance, for instance you can bid on a customer project and create the estimate. Then the highlighted arrows tell you what's next in the steps. Then you create an invoice based on that estimate. Once you send out that invoice you can then receive a payment when your customer provides you payment, then you can record your deposit. So it tells you the logical steps of how the information in QuickBooks is recorded and the tasks that you need to do and in which order you need to do those tasks. At any time you can always click hide the coach tips and it'll go back to the regular screen. That is the QuickBooks homepage. Do use it as your starting point for all of the work that you need to do. A lot of customers will sometimes skip tasks. They'll go to create an invoice and instead of following the arrow to receive payments they'll just skip right over into record deposits and without following these logical workflow errors you can make some pretty big errors in your QuickBooks data file things like doubling your income and increasing the amount of money that's owed to you so that's not a good thing that we don't want to see we want to make sure we follow these workflow arrows and thank you for watching 
Thank you for watching. We hope you found our tutorial useful and informative. Your feedback and comments are welcome. Please send us a note to the email address that you see on your screen. And just to let you know, we do offer live seminars, remote login assistance, video conference, group training, one-on-one -on -one instruction, and so much more. For more information about these services, visit Essential123.com. Thank you!